Hey everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princesses Part 71 of the walkthrough, and we are going to be doing the Temple of the Sky. So let's get into this, shall we? Now we're first going to want to head to the shop. Now, here's a hint. You're going to want to have uh, the iron boots equipped as, as well as the claw shot, because... Those two are majorly important. Okay, we're gonna head wanna head over to egg looking place. Which is the shop, if I remember correctly. And there's nothing really to buy in here besides some bombs and lantern oil, I think. why it said a Cuco Jr. when it's actually a Cuco. But, uh, yeah. Okay, we are going to be dealing with some major Mojo Doma wins! Yeet! It's Zibid A there, and I really, I'm just in the water, you're safe, and um, you may have noticed there's some chests here, so, oh, I'm just gonna, a red rupee, and Bombs. That'll actually be really helpful. I was actually running low on those. Okay, now if you've noticed, there's a entry point over here. The other one is just pretty much a dead drop. Emphasis on dead drop. Now, as you can see, there's a uh, crystal up there. I'm gonna. In order to get into the temple, the city itself, we have to shoot that. Yeah, 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 Link. Woohoo, it's a blue room. I like throwing them off the side in oblivion because they're really annoying. Now, once you get over here, you'll be shielded from the wind. City in the sky. Thank you. You know, it's kind of confusing to me how a bird Unitopia has gotten more advanced than the people below. I mean, we have the opposable frubs here. And yes, you are going to have to use the Okukos, just like the chickens, to fly in this part of the game. Here's a hint to get rid of this guy. Just walk on these. Or if he doesn't want to do that, like you just Stupid, stinking. Now, you may have noticed there's Okukos climbing on those. So yeah, just pretty much pick 
one of those and me. Fly over there. Hey, come back here. Okay, you're right, girl. I'm not going down there. dungeon is probably the most nerve-wracking dungeon for me because I have a fear of heights. And with the mixture of the really bad wind and the drops to infinitive, infinitive death, <laughs> this place is a nightmare for me. Okay, now... As you can see, there's an area where we are going to want to pull out our spinner and keep spinning, 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 spinning. And if you look out here where I have the ferry, you are actually going to see a very big bridge come out. But if I remember right, the dang dragon comes and destroys the bridge. So. You don't get too excited, guys. Ah! It wasn't a dang dragon comes and destroys the bridge. It's a stupid kid forgets that you need a key! Ah, I'm getting myself up at the moment. I really don't like this dungeon, probably because of all the pitfalls that help, like those. I mean, they're helpful for getting rid of some of the bad guys, but in any other way, they just, oh my gosh, they just, they, they traumatize me, I mean, uh, I mean, falling down, oh come on, what's here that I, yeah, we're gonna need to come back here later, oh my gosh, that was, um, very close to me getting um, skewered there by the bird. Uh, this would really help if I remembered where the key was located. <laughs> Yay, flying a stupid oak to go. Shush! This is the one at the shore. Because 
because as you can see, it's kind of rickety. No, yeah. So yeah, as you're going to cross the bridge, Confused now, but maybe it's a good thing I'm more confused than, uh, well, crushed by a dragon. But oh, not this! Yeah, rupee, woohoo! Yay, that's what I wanted. Oh, please don't do that. Of course. Why do you do this to me, Link? Why? Now... Well, we found the small key. And we cannot get in anywhere farther in this area until later in the game, so we might as well just head back. This gotta be one of the hardest temples in the whole entire game to me because of my fear of heights, as I've stated, um, and then all the enemies, the wind, and now sir, here is where we get the drag. You may recognize this guy from the Rule Warriors. As one the one where you get the claw shot in the game. The one you have to fight. So yeah, now that bridge is taken out and we have to cross on those things. Yeah, that looks sturdy, huh? I'm not too trusting. And yes, those ones will fall if you hang on them for too long. The ones that move, do not, but the ones that look like that, don't trust them. They are not to be trusted. I repeat, do not trust them. I'd sooner trust... I'd sooner trust... Um, a Venus fly trap then first of all they're pretty much flying weeds that are off of the trees in Gerudo so that's one thing that kind of gives it a hint that they're gonna fall and number two is that they look like death itself well we got arrows so that is a possible hint that we are going to be fighting a mini boss or something. Or even worse. Yeah. 